today i would like to talk about the hc sr501 pir sensor is one of the common sensors around our homes especially used in security lighting called pir meaning that it detects infrared radiation infrared radiation is usually emitted by warm bodies even human beings as long as you are removing next to the sensor it will be able to detect that radiation here is our PIR sensor. It contains this lens, it's called a Fresno lens. It's able to focus the infrared signal onto a pyroelectric sensor. So if you remove this lens, you can be able to see that sensor inside. Yeah. So we have removed the lens, and this is our pyroelectric sensor, which can be able to detect the infrared radiation from any warm object placed near this sensor. So that is our sensor. It has a detection range of around 3 to 7 meters. The other important part I talked about are these two potentiometers here. This is called the sensitivity adjustment potentiometer. What this does, it adjusts the distance of detection from around 3 to 7 meters, like I've said already. And this is the time adjustment. And this sets how long the output remain high when motion is detected so usually it's around three seconds to five minutes it's adjusted according to how you like it then another important aspect that is but here this jumper this jumper can be positioned in two ways is what we call the no repeat and the repeat this one is what we call the no repeat mode in the no repeat mode the output will always stay high for the amount of time that has been set by the time adjustment potentiometer then we have the this other mode here yeah? if you change the jumper this is what we call the repeat mode in the repeat mode the output is always going to be high as long as an object or motion is detected yeah so this is like this and Arduino has three pins, so the connection to the Arduino board or to any other microcontroller is very simple. Yeah, we have this side is the ground, so you are going to be putting it to the ground pin of Arduino, and this is the output pin, so it's going to be put to pin two of our board, and this is the VCC. We are going to connect the VCC of our board. Then we are also going to be including a simple LED that is going to help us to show when motion is being detected or whenever an object is in front of the lens. So we are going to be using a simple program and that program is simply for the detecting the status of the pin. As long as the motion, there is motion in front, it means the status of pin 2 of our board is always going to be high and when that is high this LED is going to be lighting so we can check it out and see how it works let's now upload the code and see what's going to happen so when you upload your code red LED will light as long as there is an object detected around remember we said this sensor has a detection range of around 3 meters to 7 meters so like you see here since I'm standing in front of the sensor it means it can be able to detect that I'm around and then also if you see here we are used we are using the repeat mode that means as long as there is motion being detected in front the red led will always keep on showing because the output is always going to be high now i've changed the mode to no repeat so that uh, i'll have to adjust the time adjustment potentiometer so that the output is going to be high for a given time that is going to be set by this time adjustment potentiometer so let's check it out so it means that now you have to adjust either high or make it low if you make it high it means the output is going to remain high for a longer time if you make it lower like that it means the output is going to be high for a certain time and then the LED will be off so let's try and see yeah so you see it's now lighting and after some time it's going to go off because it has been adjusted to that off mm -hmm. 
you see. So that's the other no repeat mode. And this is the one which is usually used for lights that are commonly used in our homes using these PR sensors. So that when someone moves, for example, in a corridor where that light is, it will go on for a certain amount of time, maybe like one minute, then after it goes off.